good afternoon one and all today we will discuss proton pump inhibitors upon completion of this presentation students are able to understand what is mean by proton pump then what is proton pump inhibitor mode of action of this ppis structure and iupac of this ppis then structural activity relationship of this inhibitors adverse effects and therapeutic uses of the same so first of all what is meant by proton pump at proton pump is an integral membrane protein in the parietal cell of stomach pro pumps a proton into stomach this proton pump pumps a proton into the stomach by using atp and acidic hydrogen ion replaces a non acidic potassium ions this prote proton pump catalyzes the following reaction then proton pump inhibitors these are the group of medications whose main action is pronounced and long lasting reduction of stomach acid production these inhibitors reduces the production of acid by blocking the enzyme in cell in the wall of the stomach that produces acid proton pump inhibitors act by irreversibly blocking the hydrogen potassium adenosine triphosphate enzyme system that is atpase system or it is commonly called as gastric proton pump of gastric parietal cells the proton pump is the terminal stage in gastric acid secretion being directly responsible for secreting h plus ions into the gastric lumen making it an ideal target for inhibiting acid secretion these ppis or proton pump inhibitors are given in inactive form means these all drugs are pro drug in nature after metabolism it get metabolized which is neutrally charged lipophilic and radially crosses cell membranes into into intracellular compartments with acidic environments in an acid environment this inactive drug this inactive drugs is protonated and rearranges into active form and this the active form will be covalently and irreversibly binds to gastric proton pump i repeat again this all proton pump inhibitors are inactive in nature or these are pro drug after administration it get metabolized in gastric region with acid environment in in acid environment these inactive drugs are is protonated and rearranges into its active form this active form is covalently and irreversibly binds to gastric proton pump then it shows its action this is in short when this proton pump inhibitor it active activates in acidic environments to form sulfenamide intermediate and which is covalently bond bonded to this atpase enzyme h potassium hydrogen h plus and potassium atpase enzyme these drugs classes are or examples are omeprazole lanceprazole is is omeprazole pantoprazole and rabeprazole i repeat again this metabolism pathway is intramolecular transfer of proton occurs prior to the nucleophilic attack electron donor such as methoxy to pyridine ring enhance the rate of attack of the c2 properly promoting formation of the active species called as sulfenamide sulfenamide and this sulfenamide is binds to this 
proton pump covalently bonded to proton covalently and irreversibly binds to gastric proton pump these are the examples of clinically used proton pump inhibitors one by one first one is omeprazole this all the drug contains basic nucleus there are two heterocycles are present first one is this is benz imidazole this is pyridine ring system this iupac nomenclature of this omeprazole this is one h benz imidazole is this nitrogen as the first position this is third number fourth and this is fifth that's why it is fifth five methoxy one H benzimidazole. The second number is substituted with how it is four methoxy. This is four methoxy. This four methoxy is on this pyridine two il. It is for example there is a one two three is four five methyl this is five methyl three five dimethyl three five dimethyl pyridine two il it is second number is two and this is four methoxy then methane sulfonyl it is methane it is ch methane and this is sulfonyl this is the IUPAC of this omeprazole i repeat again this is five number methoxy these contain omeprazole and all types of proton pump inhibitors contain what benzimidazole and pyridine as a basic nucleus or these are the two heterocycles are present the numbering system will be starts from this nitrogen as a benzimidazole one two three four five this is five methoxy one h benzimidazole second number is substituted with this methane sulfonyl second number and this methane sulfonyl is substituted with pyridine at second position second position and this pyridine is substituted with dimethyl at third and fifth position with four number is substituted with methoxy function group this is the IUPAC of omeprazole then lanceprazole and pantaprazole lanceprazole it is 2 2 2 tri fluoroethoxy it is tri fluoro again pyridine 2 il pyridine 2 il methane sulfonyl same methane sulfonyl then this is benzimidazole pyridine then 1 2 3 methyl 4 4 number is substituted with 2 2 2 tri fluoroethoxy it is it is what it is it is what how it is ethoxy it is o c h 2 c what is it tri fluoroethoxy pyridine then this is again methane sulfonyl 1 h benzimidazole this is lanceprazole and this is benzimidazole ring system pyridine sulfmethanyl methyl sulfonyl or methyl methane sulfonyl it is 1 h benzimidazole it is uh, pyridine is substituted with uh, Pyridine is substituted with dimethoxy at third and fourth position. This is third and fourth. How it is? One, this is two, this is three, four, and this is five. That's why it is three, four dimethoxy pyridine two in methyl sulfonyl. It is benzimidazole. This benzimidazole is substituted with one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. 4, 5, 6, it is 6 difluoromethoxy. Difluoro, 
is what methoxy it is diphuro methoxy pentaprazole it is high base of pentaprazole these are the trade or marketed products of the same this is rabeprazole rabeprazole again benzimidazole pyridine then 3 methoxy propoxy how it is 3 methoxy it is methoxy ch3 it is methoxy propoxy 1 2 3 it is propoxy at pyridine it is 3 methyl this is 4 number is substituted with it is 1 again this is 2 this is 5 this is 6 again this is methyl sulfonyl 1 h benzimidazole second number is substituted with this methyl sulfonyl of benzimidazole this is rabeprazole and these are the marketed products of the same SAR as we discuss all these agents rabeprazole, pent pentaprazole, lanceprazole and omeprazole common features or common structural structure contains what it is benzimidazole and pyridine with sulfmethylene methane sulfonyl this these are the common st structure present in the all types of proton pump means this is essential for this bio essential for this inhibition of proton pump the substituted with substitution with substitute not unsubstituted benzimidazole and pyridine the substituted pyridine ring substituted benzimidazole moiety and methyl sulfonyl chain connecting this two is essential for biological effect biological activity and chemical stability largely depends on their substitution pattern when the pyridine is substitu pyridine substitution compared to timoprazole 4 methoxy group in the pyridine ring increases the biological activity by enhancing nucleophilicity of pyridine nitrogen atom a four fluoroalkoxy substitution containing lipophilicity and electron demanding properties results strong inhibitory activity means substituted this benzimidazole substituted pyridine and sulfmethanyl group is essential for biological activity substitution with this pyridine with fluoroalkoxy combining lipophilicity and electron demanding properties results in strong by inhibitory activity this is regarding SAR of proton pump inhibitors common adverse effect of this include headache nausea diarrhea then abdominal pain fatigue and dizziness frequent adverse effects are rashes itching flatulence constipation anxiety and depression therapeutic uses are dyspepsia used in dyspepsia peptic ulcer diseases including after endoscopic treatment for bleeding as a part of helicobacter pylori eradication therapy gastroesophageal reflux diseases then stress gastritis and ulcer prevention in critical care then dollinger ellison syndrome these are the therapeutic uses of same this is regarding proton pump inhibitor and thank you